Hi, it's Ursula from EasyScraps.com, and today I'm doing a test. I'm going to try and do a transfer with one of our, uh, or a piece of one of our 12 by 12 uh, photo book papers. And so I'm going to try it using golden gel medium and just a piece of paper from basic gray. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gel medium and just spread it in a somewhat smooth fashion onto my basic gray hard stock. You want to get it fairly smooth, but you want to make sure that the entire surface is covered with the gel medium. Sometimes I just go in and fix it with my finger. And then We're going to lay our piece that we want to transfer down on top of the gel medium and then you're going to smooth it and you're going to make sure that the entire piece is touching the gel. You can use a bone folder. I just wiped off my palette knife. I'm going to try and clean up some of that excess gel. And you're just going to go through and rub finish up with your finger. Just make sure the entire piece of paper is adhered. No air bubbles. And that looks pretty good. Okay. And then we're just going to let it sit. And I'll be back when it's dry. Hi, it, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to pass on another little tip. Um, I have a Cricut cutting machine, cutting machine which comes with sticky mats, but after you use them for a while, they tend to lose some of their stickiness, um, and they just get all gunked up and just. I don't, you know, you don't want to use it anymore. So I take them down into my craft room, and sometimes I'll spray a, um, like a removable adhesive on it, and then use it for drying um, things that are wet. So anyway, just thought I'd pass that tip along. Hi, I'm back. And so now I've let that strip of the um, piece of our, um, photo book page dry into the gel medium on the background piece of basic gray and I'm just going to spritz this piece, I got some ink on it, I'm just going to spritz it with some water, just plain water and you're going to try and let it soak in. Some people say that if you sand it, it kind of helps get it going. And I'm going to kind of get rid of that ink there. So it does seem like it's going through pretty well. So all you're trying to do is get rid of that white background paper. And if the printed paper adhered well enough to the gel, the print part is going to stick on the paper. So you're going to wipe away the white background and the image should remain behind. So there it goes. It looks like it's working. Cool.
So this part is a really tedious process. So you're just going to spritz, wet, and rub. <laughs> spritz, wet, and rub. And you're going to just keep doing that until all the white is gone but the background remains. And sometimes you end up wiping away some of the image um, just because of the way it adheres to the gel. And that's okay, that's kind of the look you get when you do a transfer. Um, it's kind of that grungy, half there look, which a lot of us happen to like. So anyway, that is looking pretty good. So I'll continue to peel and then I'll come back when I'm done. Hi, I'm back. So I spent about five minutes removing the backing paper and this is the results of the transfer with our um, photo book pages, just the individual pages. I suppose if you bought the book you could rip out the <laughs> pages yourself, but we sell them individually um, in a pack that so they're not bound into book format. So you could just take the pages, cut out pieces that you like, and transfer them onto background pages or collages that you're working on. And it's just another way you can use the pages. So anyway, I hope you enjoy that technique. And it, you can see there's, you know, that's the typical transfer technique where you lose some of the image. This one actually, I used um, the sanding block and it sanded the image right off. So I wouldn't suggest using sanding. Um, I think you're better off just spritzing and rubbing. Uh, it just protects the image a little bit better. So anyway, I'd come back over here with glazes and paints and inks and cool things like that. And um, But at least I've got a mixed media piece started and you could do the same with yours. Hope you enjoy that technique. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.